We're now at the overview of this tanka. And so we've come all this way uh, along this journey and um, we're now going to explore just briefly uh, some of the lessons of it as the tanka has been painted more fully and also. And so we're going to come all the way down here to the beginning of the journey. Now, you can imagine then, as disciples, we're on the fiery path. We've actually um, just made a pledge to serve humanity. We've uh, engaged in work in meditation. We've also uh, given ourselves uh, conscious awareness of our causal body, our soul body. We've uh, worked with groups of people, so we know we're part of a soul group uh, as a whole uh, in our community, perhaps. And we also then identified with the soul of our nation, and this soul of our nation has its own ashram, usually, and that um, we've gone through trials and tribulations along the path, quite some serious ones. We've taken time out to contemplate the true meaning of life and these lessons. Uh, we've become aware there's a world community of souls, uh, including meditators and those who help and serve. We've become aware of, in our case, Australasia as our region of responsibility and the causal body, the flower lotus of the soul body of this uh, part of the world. And we've identified our, our teacher of some kind, our Buddha, uh, that represents us in this region and uh, whom we work with. And so we have this idea of the unification of these fields by continued meditation and practice to uh, build a field of uh, energy and consciousness. So a field of energy and consciousness where uh, the knowledge petals within the soul of Australasia, in other words, all intelligent progress to do with education and study and so on, that people in those fields are willing to work together, are willing to be unified with one mind. People of uh, heart, people who are, are want to heal and unify and, uh, and to love and to care uh, with the love petals. The people to do with the sacrifice petals, those are that where the mind and the personality are all developed and the, there's an overall willingness and use of will as well as mind and love to aid and, and support. And then there are the synthesis of that um, where there's the willingness to bring all those things together and to work within the globe, the central jewel, um, to focus on this unified note and sound of this whole community of Australasia. And then as we do this, we become aware that there is Americas, North and South, and where the same thing is happening, and we tune to that, then we tune into Europe uh, together. And as we attune to all those three nodes coming together into one unified field, then we have the invocations of souls of nations possible through this group work. To produce activity in the uh, soul of your nation, uh, this is possible to, to uh, bring it to life. We have this inward uh, focus of oneness and outward expression of service. We become aware of the sacred places on the planet. We become aware of thousands of years of meditative practice by uh, thousands, millions of practitioners in all fields um, and so on. We become aware of the nature of energy, of vitality, not just of the sun, but also of mind, the fire of mind. Uh, we become aware of our willingness to stand in the fire, the sacred fire of purification, so that our intention is always pure and our willingness is to serve always. And then we become able to walk on the path of fire because we're, there's nothing in us that holds us back from seeing ourselves as one with all of humanity and with nature. Um, and we have then access to some sort of teachers or Buddhas or guides who will aid us to serve more effectively, and that is their purpose really, is to aid us to serve more effectively. And then we have, of course, uh, awareness more of community, even a greater community, where we can 
see those governing or helping to support the international community of servers to actually work together to make a difference, to collaborate, to see themselves as one world community. Uh, as members of the new group of world servers, they will identify uh, and recognize each other uh, because of the quality and intention and they can be found everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. Um, and they're wonderful people, so make contact. We're able to have experiences where we realize that love and will and spirit are united into one whole, and that there is this incredible aid coming into the world uh, from uh, the ray qualities that are coming into the world, the seven rays, uh, of conscious energy and these are the will and power, love, wisdom, active intelligence and adaptability. Uh, we have the fourth ray of harmony through conflict, beauty and art. We have the fifth ray of knowledge and science. We have the sixth ray of devotion and idealism and the seventh ray of ceremonial order, reorder and magic. So we have these incredible vibrations as you see in the rainbow coming into the world through science, through uh, education through all manner of uh, discipline. We have the great dragons of wisdom who are even greater than the wonderful Buddhas that we've had helping us and the Christ of course and others. And so then more and more we have this returning of course of the, the disciple to the son, uh, back to the father's home, back to the father's heart um, as the monads return to the son. So here we have this um, sacred journey uh, being depicted in this particular tanka. Please look out for the next one, which is related to the electromagnetism. It's the science behind why meditation, especially in group form, works.